Okay. All right, we're going to show you how to make those out of that. Just your average run-of-the-mill strawberry. First thing you want to do is you want to fold these down. Make a nice little handle there. You're actually going to be using this when you pull it out, but then a lot you're going to be holding it like that for some of your cuts. So here you go. Now, one thing I want to show you, I don't know if you can get a close up, is you can actually see how the the seeds on the side of this actually grow in arches. If you look from the top, they kind of look like straight lines. But you want to you want to get in these arches and just follow that natural curve around. If you cut down straight into it at like this going about halfway up you're going to just cut straight down into the berry about that far and then just fold it out and you're going to go in here and do this again fold it out usually you get about four of these sometimes though you can get a fifth one if it's a big berry and you do your little cuts like this so this one's kind of a big berry and I'm making smaller cuts at the bottom. So I'm actually going to get a fifth one. This is kind of cool. Alright. Now this is going to be, see how at the top of it, sorry let me get my little handle here. Looking from the top, it's actually, let me fold that little guy back out so you can see. Makes kind of a, a shape there. We're going to take these we're going to cut down in and then kind of pull them out like that. That's going to give us a nice round shape. It's going to add to the shape of our rows. So you get a bunch of different petals out of it. Sorry, my hands are shaking there. Now, here's the trick. From the, from the inside, we're going to take, we're actually going to cut a, uh, a, a spiral in this until we get a plug out of the top of it. Okay? So you're going to take your knife, you're going to put it at a little bit of an angle, cutting from the outside here, you're going to start cutting a spiral. And the thinner you cut it, the better really, because it looks more rose-like. Big, thick portions, they don't play well with the eye. They're sturdier, but they don't play well with the eye. So we're actually going to cut this until we get a nice little plug right out of the middle of it. And that comes out. Now you can see our rose starting to take shape. We're actually going to fold it all back out here. This is going to be one of the prettier ones. Um, now you can take and just push down on this. And you'll see how it's wanting to bind up right here. So you can take, put your knife in right here. Follow that cut down. And then come over on this side on the same cut. And cut down. Making a relief cut. And that'll allow it to spread out a little more. Don't be afraid to push down with your thumb a little bit. Don't mash the berry, but just getting it kind of kind of spread out. Now, you get it all nice and spread out like that, and it looks like a freshly opened rose.